Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at making casting sand called green sand. Now you can buy metal casting sand online. It's called Petrobond, but it's fairly expensive. You know, for a small 10 pound bag, you're probably going to pay close to $40. We're going to show you a very easy method of making your own metal casting sand. This little mini-series goes along with a uh, single burner metal melting furnace, uh, which we just obtained through Devil Forge. The plan is to do a series of metal casting videos showing different types of sand casts, um, as well as lost wax casting. But anyway, getting back to the casting sand, the main ingredient is going to be clay sand. Now, I got this at Home Depot, a 50-pound bag for under $5. Um, the neat thing about play sand is that the granules are very, very fine. You, you really want to bake for the play sand rather than cement sand. The next ingredient is cat litter, but you have to get the one that's made out of clay. I got this down at the local Petco. In addition to that, you're going to need a spray bottle. It's just going to have water in it. A variety of containers. I got these uh, two quart and single quart containers at Home Depot with covers. You're also gonna need a strainer so that you can sift the sand down to the really fine granules. And in addition to that, I got a, a five gallon uh, bucket and in that back right corner, um, a mixing tray for cement. Now, the problem with the play sand is that even though the sand is very fine, there's not too many big pieces in there, the bag that I got was very moist and just really not suitable for sifting or for screening. There are a couple easy solutions for this. I mean, if it's a sunny day, you could lay it all out and stick it out in the sun for a while and let it, let it dry out. Uh, maybe put a container in the boiler room and let it dry out. Uh, neither one of those was an option. I had a rainy day. And, uh, anyway, at the same Petco, I found uh, terrarium sand. This is used for reptiles comes in a variety of different colors, bright blue and bright yellow. I picked black. And what was nice about this is the granules are just as fine as the play sand, except the, you know, the bag of sand came completely dry. So it was, it was very, very easy uh, to screen. Downside is that it's more expensive than the play sand. Still nowhere near as expensive as the uh, Petrobond, uh, but I think this bag was, was about $8 a bag for a 10 pound bag. But anyway, back to the recipe for the green sand. So we're going to um, sift or screen all of the sand and get rid of all of the big pieces. You want to end up with very, very fine granules. The finer the sand, uh, the better detail uh, you're going to have on the final ca metal casting. It's an 80 to 20% ratio of sand uh, to the kitty litter. I'm using... Uh, basically two quart containers um, and one quart container. So if I did a total of 10 quarts, I would want uh, two quarts of the kitty litter and eight quarts of the sand. Now I'm just gonna really cut that in half. So I'm gonna have four quarts of sand, one quart of the kitty litter. Now the kitty litter can be a problem sifting. It is uh, thicker, the granular size is thicker than the sand. Um, and it just doesn't screen very well. A lot of people will take this and they'll put it into a food processor or a grinder um, and really you know, turn it into a fine powder. Uh, that wasn't an option. I think my wife would have killed me if I did that. Uh, so basically I just took that one quart container, put it on the ground, um, and using a uh, wooden dowel, I kind of made a mortar and pestle. I just tried to uh, grind uh, that kitty litter down into a powder. So this was the first test. And I think I'm on the right track. I got quite a bit more of the fine powder out of the clay uh, than I did just trying to you know, push it through the screen with my fingers. Uh, the second attempt I went back and I, instead of just grinding or turning that down, um, I actually hammered it uh, into the kitty litter. I just really pulverized uh, the kitty litter as much as I could. 
And this seemed to work out really, really well. It's still a slow process. But at least doing it this way, there's a, little, there's a little light at the end of the tunnel. Some of the pieces turned into clumps, but you can easily break those up with your fingers. And I got quite a bit more of that fine powder you know, doing it this way than I did any other way. And this is what you want to end up with, a very, very fine powdered clay. So I continued sifting that until I had uh, what I thought was enough of the kitty litter strained, pulverized and strained. So that's one, about one quart of the kitty litter pulverized. Now it's time to mix everything together. So I've got my four quarts of sand. It's all been screened. One quart of the kitty litter, which has been pulverized and screened. I'm gonna mix this all together. I'm just gonna do it with a uh, you know, cement mixer on a drill. This is all dry powder at this time. And after that, I'm going to dump everything into that uh, cement mixing tray. And I'm going to get out the spray bottle. Slowly start to spray the entire uh, mound of mixture. And then just turn it over with your hands. You'll see that the, the color becomes lighter when it exposes uh, new drier sand underneath that top layer. You have to keep doing this until when you turn it over, there's no more dry sand. Everything should be moistened. You don't want it soaking wet. You can't pour water in. It'll just kind of clump up. So you just spray the entire uh, exposed sand, turn it over, flip it over, spray again, flip it over, spray again. It takes a little bit of time, but it's really not that bad. You want to get it to a consistency of, of sand that you would almost make a a sand castle at, with, at the beach. There's a break test, whereas if you take a clump of sand in your hand and you squeeze it together and you release, that should stay together. And then when you break it, it should cleanly break apart. So I'm not quite there. That one kind of crumbled a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more moisture. I tried it a couple of different times. If you can't seem to get that um, break test to work, you may need to add a little bit more clay to the mixture. And that's what I found. So I ended up pulverizing a little bit more of the kitty litter into clay. Mix that all in. That's kind of the binding agent in this sand. And then I had to re-moisten the mixture again. One more time, try that break test. So now I've got a piece and it breaks nice and clean. That's what you want. That's what's gonna give you the most detail in your finished metal casting. Now this stuff can store uh, for quite some time. You do have to store it in an airtight container. I just use those same two and a half quart containers with lids. As an experiment, I'm not actually gonna cast anything now, I took a piece of wood molding because my ultimate goal is I want to carve some items out of wood and then cast them in brass. So I put the wood molding with the detail facing up. I took a tin can which I cut the top and bottom out of and then I poured the green sand, or in this case it's actually black sand, but the, it's, the casting sand is cold green sand, right into that uh, can and then I pounded it down with the butt end of a screwdriver. The more you compact the sand, 
the more detail you're going to get. You have to compact it enough so that you, when, when you pick up the container, the sand does not fall out. You also have to fill that container right to the top because when I flip this over, that's actually going to be the bottom. That's what's going to be resting against the flat surface of the table. So that's flat. I run the screwdriver right across both edges. I pick it up. My sample item, the wood piece of wood molding, is still there, and I'm just going to carefully pry that out with the screwdriver. And there you have it, a casting made out of uh, green sand, very inexpensive way of creating your own metal casting sand. And we're going to come back on, on the next episode and we're going to do some metal pouring, metal casting. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Thank you very much.